Namaste guys, in this video we are going to make this mechanism in SOLIDWORKS So let's start uh, Click on assembly, click on here, click on new part Select the top plane Press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view Now draw the rectangle as per your requirement or shape In my case 300 by 300 is fine uh, All dimensions are in mm Extrude as per your requirement. Select this face, click on sketch, or don't select this face. I think uh, select this face, click on sketch. I have a better approach. Let's see. Draw a center line. Give it a dimension of forty mm. Forty mm quite big. Let's make it twenty mm. Ten mm. DMM. Click on fill it. Click OK. Uh, we can use this method. Trim the necessary lines and draw a circle here. Of diameter 5 mm is fine for me, or 8 mm is, I think, okay as well. Go to the features, click on extrude, extrude offset, make it 5 mm, click on reverse direction, increase the offset value, click on reverse direction. Make it 5 mm. Click OK. Select the right plane. Click on Sketch. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I have issue. You can't select the plane from the assembly component mode. It will create an issue. So select the right plane on the part. Click on Features. Exit the sketch mode and click on here circular pattern. Select this line as a axis. What I want to, you know, mirror. Sorry, what I want pattern. So I want to pattern this one. How much for? Click OK. So I have created one part. Now let's create more part. So how should I do that? So what I have to do is uh, click on insert components, click on new part, select the right plane, press ctrl plus 8, click on this state slot, make sure no external reference is checked on else you will face issues later onwards. Give it a dimension as per requirement, 90mm is fine for me and make it Dynamo. Zoom in. The dimension is eight mm. Eight mm. Click on extrude. Five mm. Exit the sketch mode. 
uh, this loop doesn't look like center at the center of it so like this part click on edit feature right click sketch mode select this circle by pressing control select the semicircle click on concentric now it's okay exit the sketch mode select this select this click ok select this face and select this face click ok um, I think I should be it should be at the edge of it so what I can do select this component add components this one I guess right click features let's make it zero let's click on sketch plane click ok exit uh, click on rebuild that's fine uh, one more thing you see that it can move and it is not a good thing that it can move that much freely so what we can do is uh, click on mates select the right plane of the assembly and the right plane of the component make sure they are coincide click ok select the top plane of the assembly and the front plane of the component click ok similarly select this top bottom face and the top plane click ok so as you can see this part is fixed and it can be moved uh, that is basically what i want now other thing that i want is is something you know that move up and down so let's try to make this so click on here click on new part select the right plane press ctrl plus 8 and then total length will be 130 8 mm and sorry for that multi noise can't do anything for that extrude 5 mm click on here click on your part select the top plane press ctrl plus 8 